I would say about 70% of the population in the zoo are endangered species of animals. Uh, my name is Lawrence and I work with education as a wildlife interpreter. Marine mammals are probably the manatee. The manatee, the turtles, most of the species of turtles are endangered. Um, fishes as well, some of the fishes are endangered. Trees, I would say like our national trees and endangered species of tree, the mahogany, cedar, um, cotton tree, like the saber tree, those are endangered species of trees as well. Birds, um, I would say the harpy eagle is one of them. The jabiru stork is a very endangered species of bird. The scarlet macaw, that's a critical endangered species as well. And the king vulture is an endangered species of vulture as well. We have very limited numbers in the wild. Uh, the mammals that are endangered, like I said, the tapir are, the jaguars are endangered, the ocelot are endangered, um, the margay, which is the smallest species of cat, is critically endangered as well. The white lipped peccary is uh, it's a very endangered species of wild hogs as well. So. The crocodile. Crocodile, they more or less crocodiles and endangered species. Um, a lot of that has to do with um, forest encroachment, like deforestation, destruction of their habitat, poaching, overhunting in some species. Within the sea is um, gillnet, the, the use of gillnet, um, overfishing and capturing of fishes which are not to be like, consumed for like sport fishing to be released back but some do not release them back they just take them with the rest so that contributes a lot to the uh, mice so. um, the environmental challenges is the people not really cooperating with us we try to um, do programs where we try to help out individuals with their ongoing problem but the cooperation is not, not there they don't really want to follow up on what we're trying to do they just want to especially like the jaguar and rancher conflict going on the the easiest step they would want to do is kill the animal which is um, in our view not the best way to approach the problem so cooperating with us is i would say the biggest challenge we have right now the country has a law that um, should be protecting them from keeping them as pets so in Belize it is illegal to keep wild animals as pet. When it comes to the jaguar or the ocelot, there is a fine that you could face if they ever catch you with teeth, claw, bone or skin. I do believe it is not really enforced a lot. Um, a lot of people still get away with keeping wild animals. Some of the time they would only confiscate the animal and the people are just left like that with no consequences of keeping that animal in the first place. What I would really want to see is the forest department that they, if they receive information about animals and they should act on it immediately. Cooperation with the organization trying to help you would be a really, really good thing to do. I've charged people for keeping wild animals, but to me and a lot of other people, I would honestly say that there's not a lot being done to people keeping wild animals do a lot more reserves, very very close to wildlife corridors and stuff like that where animals use it for, for passing to and for the crossing of road I would really really love to see like underground tunnels where animals could pass really safely without having to have that issue of getting hit by cars. That would probably be something I would like recommend to anybody in power to try and see if it could be done. The forest department's main objective is to control the harvesting of mahogany and logwood. There are different laws and regulations that regulate the tree species in Belize. They fall under the Forest Act. Some of these would include the forest regulation, forest rule, and there are different permits and licenses that include permit licenses, petty permits, long-term forest licenses, and chainsaw permit. The Wildlife Protection Act. It allows for monitoring and control of wildlife resources. It also controls the hunting restrictions and prohibited activities by human beings. For the Wildlife Protection Act, there are permit and license. These licenses include the hunting license, a research permit, and a dealer's license. The National Park System Act. It allows for the establishment of a protected area system. The Department of Environment should conduct more regular routine checks and confiscate with fines and penalties in order for people to cooperate with organizations to protect Belize's endangered species.